This is going to be dinner tonight. I'm going to do a bit of catch and cook. And it's actually working well. Look at that. G'day guys, my name's Alex and you are watching Alex's Fishing. In today's video, as you can hear in the background, there's some good waves. We're chasing salmon on the bottom end of the York Peninsula. So I've got my salmon set up. It's about nine foot, which is a good sort of uh, length for casting stick baits and metals just off the surf. So pretty much just lure fishing off the surf. And if I turn around, check out that swell. Some nice waves rolling in. A few really, really good gutters that I can spot from up here already. I'll come up down to the cliffs so you can actually see the waves and the gutters so there's a nice gutter there and one further down there and also around the corner here there's a bit of a reef over there and there's a nice gutter just in front of that but it's a nice offshore breeze at the moment so we can get a good cast out there and hopefully find some salmon. So stay tuned everyone, and hopefully we get onto a few, but I'll keep you up to date. Cheers. All right guys, so I've just tied up and I've got this nice metal slug. I reckon it's about 50 grams or 60 grams. So it's quite heavy. I can ping it out as far as I can in the gutters, but there's a nice gutter right there and just over there. So just got to trudge down all these steps and these steps are going to be a nightmare on the way back up especially if I have a few kilos of salmon but it's all in good fun so I'll see you guys down there all right I'm just going to film the first cast of the day because you never know there could be fish right in front of me let's do this first cast let it sink a little bit and then just start winding. Just doing a constant wind and salmon will chase after it, no worries. Nothing first cast. I'll see you when I hook up. All right, so we've just made a move and this spot sort of looks reefy, but I'm gonna try find a nice ledge to fish off. Hopefully we find some salmon because today's just been dry. No salmon at all. Haven't even seen a school. Went to three different beaches already, but we'll see what happens off the rocks. Fingers crossed. Just over there looks like a nice ledge. There's a few big boulders and it looks like slightly deep water in front of it. So we're gonna fish off them and see if the salmon are stalking bait fish along it. See you there. All right guys, just hooked up, finally. I've been casting all day, trying to find some fish. And this does feel like a good fish. I haven't seen him, but he kept charging it. Charged it about four times. He's a nice salmon. So I'll land him, and I did see a few more hits as well. So I reckon there's a few out there. Oh yes, that's a good salmon. This is going to be dinner tonight. I'm going to do a bit of catch and cook. Look at that for a salmon. That's a good, almost two kilo I reckon. Awesome stuff. 
I've uh, fished three different beaches now. I didn't bother filming because it was just going to be boring footage. Oh, hook's just come out. And there we have it. Woo! -hoo! Oh, crap. Ooh. Are you serious? There we have it guys, a lovely Australian salmon. He's a good fish. He's probably one and a half to two kilos, I reckon. I'm hoping for a few three to four kilo fish, but I'm probably just dreaming. We got him straight behind in that little deep section there. Not a bad fish. Nice dark coloring on him because he was sort of kicking around the kelp, just uh, feeding on those bait fish that look like this minnow here. This is an SFT minnow and uh, they work awesome on salmon. So it's a bit scratched up because of all the rocks, but this is the first fish on it. A nice two kilo fish, I reckon, almost two kilo. I'll leave him in this rock pool now and we'll try catch a few more. So it was just a straggler. I did have a few more hits. Could have been the same fish, but I reckon there were other other fish with it. So let's give it another few casts and see if they're around. Let it sink a little bit and give it twitches whilst winding. And that should look like a darting bait fish. Come on, where are you? There were definitely a few more there. All right, so I've just hooked up to another fish. This one feels a bit smaller. I don't actually know what it is. Could be a Tommy. Oh, it's a little trouty. Oh. And look at him slide back in. <laughs> back it goes. Let's see if there's any more out there. All right, whilst the salmon have sort of slowed down, we've hooked up to two, but dropped one. I'm gonna chuck this soft plastic along this um, very sheltered beach. There's not much wave action, and this plastic is for flatties. They tend to like that bright pink or yellow color. So I'm gonna chuck that around this bay, and hopefully there's a flatty just sitting there. Haven't caught a flatty in a long, long time, so I'm hoping they're here. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, so there's the salmon. A lovely two kilo salmon. It's still got the scales on it, but I've got the filleting knife here. What I'm gonna do is fillet the fish and then I'm gonna skin it after I get the fillets off. So, watch and see. There's two lovely fillets of salmon. And I've bled the salmon too, which is why it's a little bit whiter. Usually if you don't bleed them, they're full of blood and there's lots of blood clots, but those are nice fillets and we're left with that frame. So there's still a little bit of meat on it, but I'll throw it back in the water or let the seagulls gouge on it. So it's a circle of life. All right, so now I'm going to skin them. Just like that. That's the skin of a salmon. And all this is meat. But what I'm gonna do is cut the uh, stomach lining off as well, because that part's mainly bones. Just like that. 
So that's a boneless skillet right there. But that there's the stomach lining. If you run your finger across it, you can feel all the bones. There we have a nice clean fillet. So that's one done. And let's do the other one. There's that second one. So we've got two lovely boneless fillets ready for the fry pan. And a lot of people tend to clean it in salt water because if you clean it in fresh water, it just gets rid of the um, authentic taste of the fish. But there we have it, and let's cook them up. All right guys, so we're back at the car. I've thrown everything in, and I'm just gonna make a quick move to a campsite. Um, once I'm at the campsite, I'll show you how to catch and cook these salmon. I've actually cut them into uh, three pieces, so each fillet into three different pieces. So there's six fillets, and they're pretty much Tommy-sized fillets on one salmon. So that's pretty awesome that I got that amount of fish off. So let's get driving, and uh, I'll show you how to cook them. Cheers. Well, guys, I forgot something really important. I don't have a fry pan, but I forgot a pot. So I'm gonna try and make do with a pot. We'll see if it works. Otherwise, it's probably gonna end up really <laughs> But <laughs> we'll see what happens. So what I've got here is Worcestershire sauce, some oil, and I've, it's a spray bottle as well because I was gonna use a pan, but hopefully this works and I've got the fish. So in there, I've got six fillets from one salmon. So what I'm gonna do is pour some Worcestershire sauce in with the fish. And what that's gonna do is just marinate. So. Not sure how much that was, but should be enough. Give it a good shake and mix around in the Worcestershire sauce. I'll put a bit more in. And it smells really strong. After I've done that, I'm just gonna put some salt and pepper. Which I don't have either. All right, so now that we've marinated the fish, we're gonna just let it sit while we heat up the um, pan. <laughs> so I've just got this butane gas cooker here want to light it up and I'm just going to spray a heap of oil in just because we're, we're using a pot just so it coats the whole bottom of the pot pan I'm going to refer it as a pan guys because I guess we are using it as a pan and while we wait I'm just going to get the bread all right so I'm just going to use plain white bread just like a normal sanger and I've also got a lime so I'm going to squeeze the lime on the fish after we cook it. And I've actually got this little takeaway container. It was from my lunch, just at Corny Point. <laughs> going to use that for the fish tonight. Love the smell of lime. Lime's a lot better than lemon. And I reckon we, we can chuck the fish in now. So the fish should be all coated. So that's about the size of the fillets I cut. And there's six of them, just from one fish. I'm just gonna do two at a time. See how that works. Wow, it's actually looking really nice. So that's the salmon in there. Covered in Worcestershire sauce. Smells delicious. So we'll cook it for maybe about two minutes or so, either side, and that should warm up nicely. Might even squeeze some lemon on it now. Sorry, lime.
All right, they're looking nice. Look at that, guys. It may look a little darker than usual, but that's because of the Worcestershire sauce. So it's not actually burnt. Look at that. How good does that look? And that there's just a flake of meat. As you can see how white it is, it's just pure salmon. And that's delicious. Fresh salmon with lime and Worcestershire sauce. Can't go wrong. So, give it another spray of oil. There's the salmon. And another one. Another squeeze of lemon. So that one's cooking now. And check out those two. So they're nice and dark because of the uh, Worcestershire. But that's just pure salmon. So they cook quite fast. And it's actually surprisingly good in the pot. <laughs> I forgot the pan, but I'm making do with the pot. And it's actually working well. So I reckon it's time to flip these. Look at that guys. Just like that. Simple as. Didn't bring any salad, but that's some nice protein there. Wow. Actually tastes like a sausage. <laughs> Can't beat that guys. Salmon Sanger, bit of lime, Worcestershire sauce. How good. In this view, sun's gonna set in about an hour's time I reckon. Look at that guys. And watch it tear. Look at that. Cannot beat fresh fish. Literally caught maybe an hour ago and uh, yeah there's that catch and cook probably gonna cook the rest up now I reckon because it's so damn delicious just check out those salmon don't they look delicious in the sunlight look at that they cook really fast so just gonna chuck it back on All right, well, there's the end results. A lovely salmon sanger with lime and Worcestershire sauce. Just simple stuff and it tastes amazing. Can't beat fresh fish with a view like this. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Hope you liked it and learned a thing or two. So if you enjoyed this video, Please subscribe if you haven't already. All this support, guys, it's awesome. So, really appreciate it. It allows me to do trips like this to share with you guys. We had a pretty poor day on the salmon, but we managed to catch one for a feed, so that's all that really matters. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.